Oh, we still haven't found much flint. Uh, how am I... Okay, I can make a campfire. That's at least one thing. And, uh, luckily for me, I seem to have just oodles and oodles of berries. Look at this. Mmm. I'm just cramming them all into my mouth. Doing that thing where you put way too many strawberries in your mouth. Uh, and then you do like that smile thing and you kind of go... <laughs> and there's just uh, liquid strawberry leaking out of your mouth and your teeth are all red. Uh, maybe you guys don't do that. I mean, that's... That's definitely one of my favorite things to do. And that's why I know so much about it. Um, but, I mean, if you don't like doing that sort of thing, and for some reason that, that's offended you, I mean, it goes without saying, I am not sorry, because stuff like that should not offend you. I mean, it's just a joke. Um, okay, more frog heads on stakes here to be careful of. It's a bad omen. It means that these pigs are um, very aggressive and feisty, and they won't stop uh, until they've extracted justice from the land. Those are not the kind of pigs that I want to be messing with. No siree. That's why I'm heading out into the forest in the middle of the night. Uh, well, it's not quite like the middle of the night yet. What do you chop some trees? Uh, maybe, maybe it's something to do with... Maybe I have to chop trees. This is awesome. Look, Lucy is obsessed with tree chopping. Maybe I go nuts uh, if I don't chop trees or something like that. Where am I at? Is my sanity is 172. Does my sanity increase when I actually chop a tree? No, okay. I don't go, like, totally nuts. Maybe I take on that uh, bear beast form I was talking about at the start. If, uh, if I haven't chopped down a tree in, like, three days or something like that. Like, would he just cannot handle it. He just has enough at that point and uh well I mean I, I as much as I like graveyards I, I don't really want to spend the night near one uh, so I'm just going to sort of make my way up here try to find somewhere a little bit better to camp out. I mean my track record with camping out in forests I, I gotta say is pretty shit actually. It's quite likely that if I don't find a clearing there's going to be a massive forest fire tonight and we're running out of time too. It's, it's going to have to be done. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be done. Wow, I can't even... There's not even any room here. Okay, well... Goodbye, forest. It was good knowing you. Unfortunately, that I'm going to have to chop down many trees to avoid this forest fire now. And I'm sure that What's-His-Face is going to spawn and chase after me. And we're going to die on day two. Uh, because he does not take too, too kindly to... You're getting yourself worked up. Oh, maybe it's if I chop too many trees. Maybe if I go on a tree chopping spree, I go into altered beast mode. That would be cool, actually. I, I can't remember how Terps did it. I'm going to have to figure it out myself. I mean, of course, if you know how to do it, um, like the last playthrough, leave me tips and stuff like that. Because between sessions, I'll always check all the comments and stuff. And if there's anything that I've done, like, horribly wrong that I wasn't aware of, um, I've, I've got you guys to count on to, uh, to keep me on the straight and narrow path. Great. Uh, it is night time. It is day two. We are uh, quickly approaching day three. Woody and Lucy are just standing there. Uh, Woody is doing his signature ear-picking move uh, and looking like a bit of a, a deviant version of Sparkles from the Ogs cast. And uh, our fire needs a little bit of fu fu what? fuel. What was that sound? There's a, there's a sound. There's just a, a strange sound out in the middle of the woods uh, in the middle of the night when I tried to add fuel to the fire. Uh, oh. Well, Lucy, I don't know if you can see. I mean, I don't see any eyes on you, so maybe you can't, but I would have thought that you could sense the fact that there's about a billion trees surrounding us right now. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, what is this thing? What is that? Oh, it's a wormhole. Is it? Yeah, it's a wormhole. Uh, where do we want to go? North. Let us go north. We will, we will conquer this forest if it's the last thing we do. Uh, we still have not found any flint. I have one piece of flint. Uh, whoa, what is this? Hey, what is this thing? Is that... That's not the keeper of the forest, is it? Is that... Oh, is this a way to get, like, haunted wood or whatever? Should I chop it? Is he gonna come to life? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, look at that! Oh, my God! It's so hard to get living logs. Look, I find... That's fucking awesome! Oh, look, there's all these evil flowers around him, too. Okay. Well, that could have gone horribly wrong. I don't know. I Hopefully, I haven't awoken some sort of, like, ancient evil by doing that. But, wow. I mean, you, you used to only be able to get living logs by um, killing the Keeper of the Forest. And, man, he, he's fucking brutal. I mean, he can one-shot you, no problem. 
That is fantastic. I have now two living logs. I, I have more living logs than I have flint at this point. Which to me is uh, all types of wrong, actually. But we're gonna we're gonna let it, we're gonna roll with it anyway. Okay, fine. Um, these mushrooms um, I can use in a crock pot. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Actually, I should probably get some charcoal so I can burn down trees. I don't think there's really much up there. There's this swamp and stuff. Let's follow the road back this way. Look, we're just going in circles. We haven't found a piece yet for the portal. It is now raining. Uh, and we don't have an umbrella or anything and thankfully this isn't that crazy mode where the frogs start falling down because wow That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I never want to do that again. That was way too hard I mean, maybe one day if I get a lot better at this game uh, And I and I work up the courage to do it. I might try it again But I my days of adventure mode are, are, are long gone now I, I don't want to do it again just the frog part alone scared the shit out of me and then the endless winter and stuff like that It was too much. Oh Oh, look at this, just in time. We can finally make a pickaxe. And we can finally, hopefully, get some stones to make a permanent campfire. Also, uh, some much-needed gold for our science machine so that we can finally make a shovel. Jesus Christ. Whoa, more flint! Oh, Jesus. Wow, it's like, it's like winning the lottery. We've just actually won the lottery in Don't Starve, if you can believe that. I'm having a, a really hard time believing it myself. Uh, lightning crashes and a young mother dies which is uh, very morbid actually and I'm not even sure if that's technically the lyric to that song <laughs> I don't know if you remember that song from circa like 1992 or something but there was a song with that lyric in it I'm almost positive of it I just can't remember who sung it and uh, why I even remembered uh, the lyric of it just then there you go Woody chop some trees okay I'll do anything you tell me to Lucy it's just as soon as I've picked up all of this other garbage that I so desperately need to get my entire uh, enterprise in this world off the ground. I can't believe that it's day three. Jesus. Why, well, the time really does fly in this game. We have many berries. Look at this. I have more berries than I'll ever know what to do with. I'm going to have to start collecting some of these trees, actually. I'm just going to eat a ton of these berries, too. Get my health right back up. Uh, we've taken a little bit of a hit on the sanity front. And that's probably because we chopped down that evil tree and it was surrounded by evil flowers, which I think bring your sanity down as well. Fine. Um, Jesus, I've just remembered too. Uh, we need to get this science machine up and running because I think, I think by at least day six we're going to be attacked by um, ravenous wolverines in the night. And we need to be ready. We need to have like a log suit and some sort of spear. And even uh, maybe a helmet would be nice too. Oh look, the rain has stopped. Fantastic. Oh, shit. Look, there's a pond here, too. We can do some fishing. Oh, I, I don't want to do fishing when, while those frogs are around, though. Okay, so this is a pretty nice area. This is going to be a great area for cutting down trees. Also, for getting grass. There seems to be lots of berry bushes here, too. And a pond. Uh, if we ever have enough stuff to make a fishing rod, I can do some fishing. I've never actually done that before in this game. I remember everybody telling me to do it millions of times last time, though. Uh, and apparently it's a fairly sustainable source of food. Um, you know, with as long as you got, like, farms and some other shit as well. I fucking... Those fucking turkeys. They're always too fast. You can never get them. Okay. Uh, it's almost Woody's bedtime. Once again, uh, it is the end of day three. <laughs> Woody, Woody has a, a real keen sense for when it's his bedtime. Um, as much as he loves to sleep, he doesn't ever seem to actually sleep. Uh, but we'll change that before long. We'll let him have a nice sleep on his bedroll. Uh, and hopefully skip the night where the wolverines come to attack. So that we can fight them in the day. And I can run away like a massive pussy. Uh, which is like my signature move in this game. And just hope that they get caught on fire or maybe step in some sort of trap. Or maybe just even fall into the wormhole and then discover that they're actually in modern day Manhattan uh, and falling in love with Mel Gibson, uh, who's a taxi driver. And uh, when they fall into the wormhole, they accidentally um, manifest themselves or just like appear suddenly inside Mel Gibson's taxi cab. And of course, he just has to roll with it because that isn't something that happens every day. You don't just sort of drive down the streets of Manhattan in your taxi cab and then all of a sudden somebody appears in your back seat and of course that's somebody being some sort of snarling dog that's about to kill you you just have to roll with it and Mel Gibson is probably best suited for that sort of situation I don't know if you remember his role in the Lethal, Lethal Weapon series but 
he was all about imp improvising, making the best of a bad situation. You know, he was living in that trailer and that helicopter turned up and exploded his trailer. And what did he do? He just moved in with Murtaugh. It was no problem. And Murtaugh just kept telling him over and over and over again that he's too old for this shit. But Mel Gibson, the true trooper that he is, persevered. He got through it. He used positive mental energy or whatever. He had a positive attitude and just finally somehow made it through. Uh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> this is a bit weird. Look at this. It's a fucking... Look at the path goes right through the... Oh, th these are actual graves. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> Who needs a fucking pickaxe when you can just pick up golden nuggets on the... Whoa. Do we have enough for a fire? We're gonna need it. Oh, my God. Too much Mel Gibson talk. That was a, that was a bit of a clutch fire placement. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I can't believe it. I have two golden nuggets. What do I need for the science machine? Oh, I do actually need a pickaxe so I can get some rocks. Shit, look at how much we've explored already. <laughs> look, well, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to the path that I've decided to take. Uh, but there you go. We have done some exploring. Man, we have a lot of shit. It's got, well, we have a ton of shit. We now have 17 carrots as well, which is good. Uh, let's eat some of these berries before they start going bad. Uh, just as they're going bad, we'll roast them uh, to give them some a new lease on life. Uh, and then, oh fuck, should we just eat these petals? If it does fucking nothing. It, it actually does nothing. Uh, we can make a grass suit, which we might need to make uh, at some point. Uh, and we can also make a trap. We have enough to make a trap, a torch, and uh, we can actually make a pickaxe. We should make a pickaxe, just in case we do find, a, whatchamacallit, a stone. Uh, uh, I just forgot what a stone was called. Um, and then we can ch we can chop it down and we can uh, get some stones so that we can make a permanent fireplace. Also, uh, we would also like to make a, uh, a science science machine uh, so that we can get some some better stuff like a wooden suit. Wooden suit would actually be very good and uh, ropes as well. We need to pro prototype being able to make ropes, which opens up a lot of possibilities for us, like a sleeping bag, uh, eventually a tent. Oh, that was close. Let's plant a tree. Oh shit, no. Let's pick up 12 pine cones and plant a tree. There we go, look. We're gonna plant a marvelous tree right there. What is this? What is all this? Why is there so much shit around here? Look at all the beard hair! What? What's fucking going on here? Oh shit, is this gonna be... Oh no. There's some bones here. It's covered with dog spit, eh? What the hell? Do I want to pick up gunpowder? I can't carry anymore. Look, I'm fully... I need to I need to make a camp. Okay, let's try to remember where this is. I mean, there's a fire staff here, too. What can we drop? Let's drop these pine cones here. We're going to drop these pine cones, Chester. Wherever you are. I hope you don't mind. We're going to come back and get them, though. Because look... Ah, oh, look, there's a sinkhole here. We can get into the caves. Uh, if I can find one more stone... I can make a science machine. Oh, this is great. Okay, this is probably going to be a fairly good spot to set up a base, I think. There's lots of stone around here. There's a couple of bushes and berries and stuff, which is nice. And I think... What's down here? Oh, shit. I thought this was a field. Well, we're not too far from a field either. And there's a wormhole here too, which actually might be a good thing. Uh, depending where this takes us, I don't want to use it just yet uh, because of my current uh, level of sanity. But... I think it might be a nice quick way of getting back. It'll let us sort of venture out further afield. Are those pro tactics or what? No? Just me? Okay, fine. Well, anyway, we're going to make a base around here. Uh, close to the sinkhole. Close to all this junk up here. 